Feliz Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Well, Mexican food, it can be a dieting disaster, but celebrate a healthier Cinco de Mayo with tasty recipes that won't wreak havoc on your waistline. Here mm. with more is Anna Vocino. Do you Ciao. like the way they did it phonetically in the They're teleprompter? Like, yeah, exactly. They're like, don't mess this up. Vocino. I'm like, Vocino. Yeah. I'm like, I'm a fellow yeah. Italiano. No, you got it. You got, I got it. This. You would know. Well, first of all, congratulations. Da -da. Thank you. Eat happy. Eat Tell happy. me about this book. Okay. This book is a labor of love over the past four years. I cut out sugars and grains four years ago. I was diagnosed with celiac disease 15 years ago, and I went gluten-free and started making gluten-free versions of everything and then started putting on weight. What? So then I found out you cut out the sugars and grains, and you're going to lose some weight. Oh, so I right. Did. Okay. So, but so this has been like a real labor of love yes, for you in yes. terms of figuring out what worked not only for your diet, but now your or your yep. health and lifestyle, exactly. and now helping us do it as well. Exactly. So we're going to do Cinco de Mayo dishes do today, it. but Very without exciting. all the sugar, because it's. I mean, I know margaritas alone. You wake I up with know. the puffy eyes. Yes, the, mm -hmm. yes. So you're gonna make a variation of that. Yes, a healthier. Yes. Here's what we're gonna do. We're, it's, it's it's a version of a skinny margarita slash mojito that I'm calling a mojito rita. Fantastic. Right? I'm all about it. And here's what we do. The trick is, because we are going to have tequila and soda. Okay. And we're going to have some lime juice, but that makes a pretty tart right. beverage. I mean, that's nice and light, and I recommend that. Yeah. But if we want to add some sweet, ha-ha, pureed fresh strawberries, which are in season right now. Okay. And I squeeze some little, uh, those clementines in Ooh. there and pureed that. It's Fantastic. really nice and fresh. Ooh, mm. it smells really good. Oh, that's it's just yummy. like springtime, right? Okay, how can I okay, assist? Okay, so here's what we're... I need you to cut some limes, but okay. here's what we're going to do first. To get... Because limes sometimes... It's hard to get the juice out of right. them. So here's a little trick I like to do. Okay. Just kind of roll them out like that. Roll well, them I'm going to start with two fingers of tequila, people. Got it. Two oh, fingers. Nice. Oh, this is going to be That's so, how I like to measure it. So, so fun. Going to the gym. All right. See, at lunchtime. There time. we go. Voila. Yeah, I know. This is a Oops, very I'm early just... hour. I got some... Uh, it's silver tequila, but you can use Reposado. Okay, good. By the way, is this for gar... I, no, for squeezing. We're so gonna I squeeze, can just, yeah. You I can don't just have do to do a half, right. even. I'll do a half. And then I'm going to do the strawberry puree here. Okay. And kidding. I like... What do you... Do you like a lot of that? Um, Just a little bit. You know what? I'm going to trust you since okay. this is your recipe. I could do a little. I, do I could a, do... I do about what? the equivalent of a tablespoon well, in each one. Oh, it's so pretty, too. Isn't it? It makes the drink really pretty. Yes. Okay. And uh, let's do some... Soda. Yeah, you can go ahead and start squeezing those. Oh, I, do, I like to do at least a half okay. a lime per because I like Me too. the tartness. And look All how right. pretty this is. a little pink Very cocktail. pretty. I'm going to do more since and you if, like more. And nobody should be afraid to drink these because they're pink. Everyone should own drinking pink cocktails. Exactly. Okay. See All that right. puree in there is kind of, it just makes it nice. Fresh. Do, yeah, do it. Use my knife here. Stir it up. And we're going to bring this Let's as little... we make our, our main dish, yep. which is what? Our main dish is the quesadilla casserole. This is one of Cheers. the most popular. Cheers, darling. Yum. Yay. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Whoa, that's good. Um, quesadilla that casserole, fantastic. right? Oh, boy, you made that strong. Okay. You have to finish it by the time we're done with this segment. Okay, okay. We got three um, minutes. Michelle is right. giving me time. Okay. We got this, Michelle. Uh, quesadilla casserole is one of the most popular recipes in the book, and it starts with homemade taco seasoning. Yeah. Have you seen the ingredients on the back of the taco seasoning? I don't need seasoning? to. I know it's no. so full of salt and added to oh, weird benzoate okay. type things. Okay. I, I don't even know what that Garlic is. Garlic powder, salt, pepper, onion powder. We got some cumin, chili powder, Ooh, of course. oregano, and then smoked paprika. I is the love secret. And smoked paprika. These are spices you already have at home. Got it. So, real Look quick. Look how delicious this looks. so good. Real quick, we mix this up. Because everyone's it. like, how can you do Mexican food Take without tortillas? Right. This is how. Okay, so we're going to take, we've already ground, we, I have ground turkey here, and I've done some vegetables, sautéed vegetables, whatever you have on hand, but I like to use onions, peppers, mushrooms, and spinach. It smells amazing. And then we're going to okay. season the ground beef. Season it up. I you love can add that. a little water in there if you need to do that, but then what happens okay. is... Oh, that smells divine. Right? And listen, make a bigger batch, right, for, for the future, for other meals. I and... actually recommend doubling or tripling this recipe because people, my husband will eat this whole thing. Yeah. I, I, my husband's a big eater. Yeah. I, I know he would, too. Okay. Yeah, so here we go. I'm going to start assembling this guy into Perfect. here. I and love that. And, and well, again, we are making this dish, guys. I know you're looking around. No rice, no potatoes. You don't need it. And you're going to yes. get full. You're going to get full, and why not just do That's it the there. healthier way? Yep. But we do have some... Uh, some lovely some veg, cheese. Some virgin. And this is a way to, if you're doing low carb, a lot of people avoid vegetables and just eat bacon and eggs. And you should have vegetables. I know. You need to I have know. vegetables in there. But you're um, putting in some good fat, right? 
That, good fat. Yeah. This this is all done in olive oil. Get real okay. olive oil, not cut oh. olive oil. Um, and then why don't you get out our finished? Don't mind if I do because I'm so finished. handy in the kitchen. We're gonna top this, this with cheese. Is amazing. Oh yes, girl. This is going to be for the crew. This. Crew lunch. Crew lunch. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so Anna, we I love it. Okay, right? okay. and I'm going to scoop you some scoop right here. Scoop you some, and then of course. We cannot have a meal without dessert, and yes. I did not even request this, no, I but it is something chocolatey, which mm -hmm. is my favorite. Mm -hmm. So what is it, and how, what is the healthy take on what this I is? I call them Mexican chocolate pots, or you can call them pot -de creme if you want to be fancy. And what they are is uh, just little chocolate puddings that have cinnamon in them. They have a more Mexican chocolate flavor Yum. to them. And they have the least, it's a dark chocolate ganache. So it's the least amount of sugar possible mm. to make it a sweet treat. And then some fresh whipped cream. Um, so let's get you a little... Where's your? Where I got my plate. It? It's all right. I'm, I'm eating. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy that. We're gonna have pudding at the break. Then. We're gonna have pudding at the break. Mm -hmm. And where can we go to get all the recipes and get the book? Okay, today, uh, um, tomorrow at four o'clock, Saturday at four o'clock, I'm gonna be doing a book signing down at Einstein's on Juniper and um, oh, in Midtown. That's yes. such a great spot. Isn't okay. it a great spot? And we can have uh, lettuce wrap burgers together. Yes. Uh, low carb, keeping it low carb. Yes. And um, you can get the book at Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Nook. Yes. You know I'm, the Nook. I, I like, of course. Get your nook on, Get people. Get your nook. That yeah. is to die for, and I don't miss any of the carbs. Nope. Uh, phenomenal. Thank Wait, you so get much. Get drink. your drink. Get if you want more drink. information on Anna, please head to AnnaVocino.com. Be sure to check out her book signing, as she mentioned, Einstein's Restaurant on Juniper. Love it. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. All right, the fun continues. <laughs> We're going to take a look at the latest romance novel on every lady's summer reading list. Wait till